somebody told me you can be doing all this dance for the next 13 years, I would have looked at them like they were crazy. Well, it got started with Chris Lenzo, who was a parent here. At the time, I asked Stephanie, I said, you know, you can make this building accessible. But there's only a few stairs on the west end. It wouldn't be that hard to ramp it. And I felt horrible. She's like, we're hoping to do that. We've always wanted to do that. Because since the very beginning, we had incorporated children with disabilities into our dance classes but not so much wheelchairs. She raised money through the community and grants and families of students here, and they put a ramp in, they put a uh, lift in to go from the main floor to the second floor. So let's do something to celebrate the success of all of our fundraising, and let's make a piece for people with and without disabilities. And they came back to me and said, would you like to be in it? And I was like, not really enthused about it, but. I felt obligated because of all the things <laughs> they had done. And it knocked the socks off everybody. So we began the workshops and we right away began creating more works for people with and without disabilities. My favorite thing about it is continue to explore ways of telling stories and expressing myself and, and then collaborating with a great group of people. What we're trying to show is that people with disabilities can be very strong and very functional and very creative and do wonderful things on stage that are utterly amazing. When we have people with disabilities and without disabilities dancing together, is it creates a, a message that disability is a naturally occurring part of the diversity of life and it's not necessarily a tragedy.